Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, honor, glory unto Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Marikakadash. Just a quick little, quick little, quick hit lesson, you know, through Spirit Pop, Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, en route to the to camp right now, you know, because, you know, Spirit was on me just now because I was thinking about, you know, uh, the book of Judges and how Israel repeatedly went off and received a salvation, a, a savior, a judge to deliver them out of the captivities that the Lord allowed them to go into. So, if you understand, if you if you read the book of Judges, you understand that uh, the children of Israel many times followed after the, the customs of the heathen. Okay? The scriptures tell us that, you know, uh, my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. If I'm not saying Hosea 4 and 6, if I'm not, if I'm not not mistaken, you know, you know, my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge, because thou has rejected knowledge, I, I will also reject thee. You see, so when we when we followed after the customs of the heathen nations, the Lord rejected us, and what happened? Each time the, the children of Israel cried out, and the Lord delivered them out of the uh, the captivity that they was in. You know, and the same thing is going to happen. The same thing is going to happen in these last days also. Because you got the you got the elect, all right, understanding who they are, coming back into the fold of who, who they truly are, which is being the children of the Most High, you know, the princes of power, and understanding that the only way to get out of this is to turn, return and turn back into Yahweh Shem Yahushai. So what do they do? They could return with mourning and weeping, you know, ten times more, all right. So the Lord is hearing our cries. The Lord is hearing the the, the hopeful elect. Uh, uh, prayers and hopes and wishes and, and hastening of that day of him to return and remove them out of the captivity that they're in. All right, because and 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 what do you and what happens every single time? The Lord uh, raises up a judge in Israel. Okay, and they and that judge delivers the the people who are oppressing the children of Israel into the hand of the children of Israel. So the same thing is going to happen for Esau Edom. Okay, Esau Edom has been oppressing the children of Edom, I mean the children of uh, Israel for how many years? Okay, for for four and five and six and seven and eight and whoever, however else long they've been uh, enacting their, their their prejudice and their um, wicked wicked uh, you know wicked traditions and the, you know just just utterly destroying uh, uh, the children of Israel. And when I say children of Israel, I mean the Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. Okay? So Esau has utterly been oppressing these, these nations. And every time, if you look in history of the Bible, every time that they were oppressed, they cried unto the Lord, and the Lord delivered them out of the captivity that they were in. So what make this one any different? What makes this captivity any different? The Lord is going to deliver them out of the hands of the other nations, Set them up, set them up in their own land, you know, through the spirit and power of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh which is Him. All things are going to come out of Him. All things flow to Him. Everything came from Him. So, just like before, in the Book of Judges, you know, the children of Israel were were taken out of captivity multiple times after they were worshiping Baal, Ashtaroth, and all of these other Canaanite gods and these. Egyptian gods and so on and so forth the Lord is going to deliver them again out of that out of those things all right you know and and people have no idea what the sense of of uh, of, of, of heritage is you know what a sense of, of of understanding of who you are and where you come from you know and Israel doth not consider you know you see and and that's the thing the I say that all nations don't consider their heritage and, and who they are, but Israel is 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 the chief one that don't consider where he comes from and his heritage and his bloodline. Why? Because it's been hidden, it's been taken away, it's been uh, systematically dis di hidden, man, buried, disguised as somebody else's heritage. Okay, so the Lord is going to give them back their heritage, the knowledge and wisdom and understanding of who He is and who they are. And how he operates and you know because the book 
the Bible is just a book of how we should conduct ourselves, man. How we should live in peace and harmony on this earth. Okay? Because with your actions come consequences. All right? Don't you, don't, doth not you have actions for each consequence in Esau's queendom? You know? And it's for some crazy reason, all of his actions that he, 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 he commit or things that he do, he seems like he don't have to pay for them. You know? That's what the scriptures say. Though the, the, the prosperity of the wicked seemeth uh, uh, long, it shall come that he's, his foot shall slip. Roughly paraphrasing, I'm not going to pull the precepts because I would have to look it up. But roughly paraphrasing, you know, that the, the, that the wicked are going to fall. Okay? Though they prosper right now, their, their destruction and their, their, their downfall is very nigh. You know, what goes up must come down. All right? And if you look at history, all kingdoms that have gone up and had the children of Israel in captivity, they've all gone down. They've all been taken down. So what makes this world right now, this queendom, any different? You know, because then we're not living equally. We're, we're not on, on, on the equal playing ground. Esau has everything. He's the head, we're the tail. He lends, we borrow. To, all, to, to him, uh, uh, we're gonna have, we go to him to, for want of all things. Deuteronomy 28, it tells you, okay? We go to Esau, Edom, and these heathen nations for want of all things. Even in our own neighborhoods, we go to the Chinese, Moab. Even in our own neighborhoods, we go to Elam, okay? The Ishmaelites, we go to them for the want of all things. We want, we want, we want anything. We got to go to these heathen nations and we can't do, it, do anything ourselves. Why? Because it's a curse. Proving that the Bible is true. Proving that the Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans are the true Israelites. That's what that does. That's what that proves. That's what that solidifies, okay? That there are people on the earth that are considered chosen, that are separate, that are holy, that are above every other nation. And they are the Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. And you and you, you think it's a su surprise that this, this knowledge has been suppressed? You think it's a, it's, 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 a, it's, it's a new thing? No, no. Esau and these heathen nations, and pursuant to Psalms 83, They've, they've been a confederate to, to remove the name of, of Israel out of the earth. Okay? They were in cahoots, so to speak. They were, they were working together to make the remembrance of Israel no more. Okay? The true remembrance of them. Because what they have now is <laughs> it's, 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 it's false, man. It's not, it's not pursuing into Bible, biblical scripture. It's not pursuing, it's the, 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 the land that we see today that they say that they are the chosen people. It, it's not linking up. There are some, some uh, inconsistencies with these people's stories, with the Amalekite stories, with what they believe and who they are. Because the, the scriptures tell you who Israel is and what would be done once Israel is back in their home, homeland. And, and none of those things have pro been prophesied, yet we can find the biblical biblical uh, proof archaeology archaeology that that shows that king david existed king solomon existed that the hittites and the nations that are of the bible existed you know the kushites were uh, were the ethiopians we, we have all of this biblical proof i mean archaeology that shows that the biblical texts are true but yet still we we don't know who the true israelites are we don't know who the nation of israel truly is why because once that, once that information is out, it's over for Esau, man. You know? And, and the Lord is bringing, he's bringing it out piece by piece, brick by brick. You know? Through the spreading poverty, how about Shimei Shai? This word has gone into the four corners. And we see that, man. We see it. You know? So, Yahara Rathazad, that was a quick little 10-minute lesson, you know. I guess you can say, uh, you know, in my thoughts about what's going on who <laughs> and and the I guess it was on my spirit because I'm talking to people that are in my plantation at my job and and they truly don't consider what's going on around them you know they think that this is life you know this is life this is this is <laughs> this is what life is given eight eight and nine hours of your of your day to a a, a four room box 
<laughs> you know? And, and thinking that, oh, I gotta get vacation time so I can take these days off and this and this. They, they don't know nothing else, man. They're dead. They're spiritually dead, man. You know? And the Lord got got the, his elect looking on, look, look, looking and hoping and wishing for, for better and greater things, man. You know, we're wishing for the kingdom of heaven, you know, in righteousness. We're in, we, won't, we won't have to worry about our, our children being taught to be transvestites and, 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 and being subject to pedophilia cartoons and all manners of wickedness. You know, the propaganda of, of hatred against our nation and, and, and so on and so forth. And the normalization of prejudice, the uh, prejudice uh, 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 of laws and, and the way that it's conducted. It just, people just accept, yeah, this is just how life is, you know. People are fucked up in the world. No man, the, this this planet is it is in the 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 ruins. It's in the 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 shape that is in because of Esau Edom. No other man has done it. Esau Edom's fingerprints is all over this world, man. All over this world, the destruction of Esau Edom has been has been great. Okay, he has been busy doing exactly what he's do doing, which is being wicked, destroying the earth. Destroying the minds of people, leading them astray, helping them to be all that they want to be. You want to be wicked? You can be wicked. You want to be, you want to be a tranny? You can be a tranny. You want to be, you know, you want to be a, a, a puppy? You can be a puppy. You can be a dog. You know, you can you can walk around on on a dog leash as a human being. You know what I mean? And and teaches you to feed the flesh. Don't feed the spirit. Don't believe in God's laws. Listen to my laws. Don't listen to what the, the Bible says. The Bible is, a, is not a factual book. I, I got facts. I got the facts. I, I tell you what's real and what's fake. Even though I've never seen a dinosaur before in my life, I can tell you the color and the type of skin and the type of scales that, that they have. You know, I've never seen one dinosaur in my life, but I can tell you exactly what they look like, how they sound. Esau can tell you everything. You see? So through the spirit and property, how about Shemi? I was shy. How about this? I was edifying. Until next time, Shalom.